ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, why people who claim to be mosquito magnets might be right. But first, NASA is getting ready to run a simulation of its Artemis moon mission in Arizona next week. It invited media to go and see how it runs through missions on the moon's surface, so astronauts, engineers and scientists can practice exercises in a simulated lunar surface environment. That'll include desert rats crews traversing the desert, living and working in their rover, and exiting to conduct moonwalks. It says NASA prepares to return humans to the moon. The Artemis mission will also land the first woman and the first person of colour onto the lunar surface. It looks like Simon Cowell is attempting to disrupt the music industry once again, this time by teaming up producers with TikTokers. His latest project, StemDrop, grants TikTok creators worldwide access to exclusive new unnamed songs by famous producers, inviting them to produce their own versions of those songs. TikTokers can take elements of the songs and interpret them in any way they like, using things like different genres and tempos. Simon said it gives them the ability to co-write a song with some of the greatest songwriters of all time, calling it the missing link between social media creators and producers. An augmented reality artist who's worked with some of the top brands in fashion has told Tech and Science Daily AR can make the industry more sustainable. Augmented reality in and of itself is a sustainable practice. It's obviously limitless in its creativity of materials. So yeah, it's very sustainable. We all have phones and laptops and screens anyway, so digital fashion can help in some respects. Dodds is an artist experimenting with augmented reality, creating filters that let you try on clothes virtually. He told us the tech actually fixes a major sustainability problem in the industry. The ability to put clothes on photos and videos that people submit and then post on social media is directly addressing one of the issues in the fashion industry, which is that in the UK, 9% of fashion purchases are returned because the customer only intended to use them to wear it once for a social media post. And Dodd said digital fashion could scratch the itch of many who just want to show off clothing online. If there's already a consumer habit of people buying clothes that are like a little bit extra, but perhaps they wouldn't wear every single day because they just want to wear it on social media, that digital fashion is potentially a sustainable alternative to consumer behavior. Now, it looks like Netflix is branching out into cloud gaming. The company's VP of games, Mike Verdu, said this week at the TechCrunch Disrupt conference that they're taking cloud gaming services very seriously. He said they're focusing the offering on those who already watch Netflix on their TVs and computers. At the event, the company also announced it's currently working on 55 new games. It turns out those of us who claim to be mosquito magnets, getting bitten more often than others, might just have a point. Researchers in New York have found that people with high levels of certain acids on their skin produced an odour that attracted the bugs, in some cases 100 times more than others. They carried out the research by asking participants to wear nylon stockings around their forearms to pick up their skin smells before putting the stockings in a room full of mosquitoes. The researchers said they would basically swarm to the most attractive subjects. But they said there may be ways to tinker with skin bacteria and change the smells to make them less attractive. Coming up, Apple updates the iPad, plus how a musical pillow can reduce our pain levels. Why not hit follow and give us a rating during the break? Welcome back. Apple appears to have made some quite radical design changes to its latest iPads, which were revealed this week. For the first time, they've moved the front-facing camera from the short side of the device to the long side, so it's directly facing you while you have it in landscape. Other changes include a move to USB-C connectivity instead of a lightning port, and Touch ID has now moved to the power button on the top, finally ditching the round home button. Outside of those, there's also the usual changes, including faster chips and new colors. Now, we all know how important it is to get between seven and eight hours of sleep each night. But new research suggests adults over 50 who don't get more than five hours a night 
I have an increased risk of developing at least two chronic diseases. Self-reported data found that those people were 30% more likely to be diagnosed with diseases such as cancer, diabetes or heart disease over the span of 25 years compared with those who got up to 7 hours a night. The researchers said to help get a better night's rest, make sure the bedroom is quiet, dark and at a comfortable temperature before going to sleep. And finally, a study in Denmark has found giving hospital patients a musical pillow to listen to while waiting for surgery actually reduced their pain. Patients waiting for various surgeries for health emergencies like appendicitis and intestinal obstruction were offered the pillow for half an hour while they were waiting. Patients were asked to rate their pain from 1 to 10 before and after using the pillow, and researchers found they had a decrease in pain from an average score of 4.8 to 3.7. Researchers said the music helped the patients relax, and they found themselves thinking about something other than the pain and worries about the surgery. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock for the Leader Podcast for the latest news and analysis from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon at one. See you then. <laughs>